Hello. In today's video, we will try to understand what is the need of explicit constructor in C++. So to get started, I have written a basic code here where I have included the iostream header file and I have written the basic main function. So in addition to this, I will now create a class which I will name as tutorial and um, in this class I will have a private uh, variable which I will name as variable and in the public access region of this particular class I will have a constructor which will accept um, an integer uh, argument and um, it will assign that value to the variable and I will also have a function called as print which will print the uh, value of that variable. All right and uh, outside the scope of this class I will create a function which will accept an argument of uh, the type tutorial basically its object of the tutorial uh, class and using that object I will invoke the print function uh, which we defined over here All right and now in the main function I will create an instance of the tutorial object to which I will pass say value 4 and then I will invoke the display function to which I'll pass this object. So let's try to understand what is happening here. Now if you're not familiar with the concept of constructors then uh, whenever we create an instance of a class or when we create an object of the class the constructor of that class is invoked so in the line number 26 if you notice I'm trying to create an object of the tutorial class and uh, when I create such an object the constructor of the tutorial class is invoked and if you notice here the constructor is expecting an argument of the type integer that's why while creation of the object I have passed an integer value as an uh, argument and once that object is created I am passing that object as an argument to the display function which is defined over here since it expects the uh, object of the tutorial class and once I have that object I am invoking the print function of that class which will print me the value of the variable so if I run this particular uh, uh, code then let, let's see how uh, it is first, first I have to compile um, so once the compilation is done I have to uh, execute it so I will execute and if you notice the output is 4 so this is uh, an expected output because we passed 4 as the argument during the uh, uh, creation of the object so variable will have the value 4 and then when I try to print the value of the variable it will be 4 but I will do a slight modification to this logic over here I will comment this line and instead of passing the object to the display function I will pass the value say for example 6 to the display function now pause this video for a while and try to think what might be the output when this is the approach and once you're done with your analysis now let's go back and try to compile it again and check what will be the output so I compile and then I execute and I notice that the output is 6 now we have to understand why is this happening because the display function over here is expecting the tutorial class object as the argument but I pass an integer as the argument but still the code is compiling fine and I'm obtaining 6 as the output now this is where the concept of uh, the constructor comes into picture tutorial class 
has a constructor which expects an integer um, variable as uh, the argument to it. And here I have a function which is expecting uh, an object of the tutorial class, but I do not pass the object, but instead I pass that integer uh, variable which the constructor of the class is expecting. So the constructor of the tutorial class is used by the compiler for an implicit conversion and uh, you obtain the output as 6. Now, if we do not want such a behavior, it is essential to mark the constructor as explicit and we tell, please do not use the constructor for such implicit conversions. And um, I'll save the score. And now immediately you notice that there is an error for this kind of a syntax where it says no suitable constructor exists to convert from integer to tutorial. Whereas if I did not mark the constructor as explicit, then this constructor would have been used for an implicit conversion. And you can notice that difference here. Now the error does not exist. So this is the uh, significance of an explicit constructor. I hope you liked this uh, explanation and I hope this helps. Thank you.